what is up guys welcome to the channel today i'll be checking out the history of the philippines explained in 12 minutes guys um i i don't really know much about the philippines i know that they're in asia the country is in asia and uh, i think they are islands right um i think that is all i know probably i think do they speak english i'm not sure i know a lot of nigerians immigrants there I would assume that speaking English if they're immigrating there. So guys, the Philippines, let's get right into it. The history of what is today the Philippines started with the arrival of its first humans. It is believed they used rafts or boats around 60,000 years ago with groups of diverse hmm. people settling in the archipelago. Some of these groups started to develop and expand into bigger settlements, and in the next thousands of years, they evolved into what some scholars believe to be considered early states. Austronesians and afterwards speakers of the Malayo-Polynesian languages began to arrive in successive waves beginning about 4000 BC. According to the existing evidence, a jade culture existed on these lands, starting with the Neolithic era. By 1000 BC, it is believed that the inhabitants of the archipelago had developed into four distinct kinds of people. Tribal groups, warrior societies, the petty plutocracy, and the harbor civilizations. Also important to note is the fact that the metallurgy reached the archipelago due to trade with India. Around 300 to 700 AD, the seafaring people of the islands began to trade with the Indianized kingdoms in the Malay archipelago and the nearby East Asian principalities, adopting influences from both Buddhism and Hinduism. Some cultures of present-day Vietnam showed evidence of an extensive trade network. Artifacts and goods were traded, such as glass, agate, or gold. There were also other items present in the region which were most likely imported, including ear ornaments that have been found in archaeological sites in the Philippines, Thailand, and Taiwan. The Indian culture influenced the Southeast Asian region starting with the first century. During the period of the South Indian Pallava dynasty and the North Indian Gupta Empire, Indian culture spread to Southeast Asia and it reached the Philippines, which led to the establishment of new kingdoms largely influenced by the Indian culture and traditions. The date inscribed in the oldest Philippine document found so far, the Laguna Copper Plate inscription, is 900 AD. From the details of the document, written in Kawi script, the bearer of a debt, Nam Warren, along with his children... I mean, it, it, it literally used to fascinate me when thinking about that these countries like the Philippines and these other countries that, uh, um, will I say, um, you know, as a Christian, you know, we have the Bible and all those stories in the Bible. You never hear anything from this part of, this part, this part of the world. And in a lot of recorded history, you know, a lot of recorded history, you don't really hear a lot of, at least for, for me, at least for me. I don't know, maybe the um, histories, there were histories that were written about these other countries in those times of like, you know, um, <clears throat> I know this is the history, I understand that, but in terms of, in details, you know, different, um, um, how will I put it? Like in details, you know, the European history, a lot of things are are, are in details, you know. Uh, but on this part, this part of the world, like people, it just seems like they were just there. You get what I'm saying? I don't know whether I'm making any sense. I, 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 I reasoned it in my brain. It, it it sounded like it made sense. But anyway, I hope it made sense to you guys as well. Because I'm just I'm thinking about it like. Children is cleared of a debt by the ruler of Tondo. This is the earliest document that shows the use of mathematics in pre-colonial Philippine societies. A standard system of weights and measures is also demonstrated by the use of precise measurement for gold and other items, as well as in astronomy. 
From the various Sanskrit terms and titles seen in the document, the culture and society of the Manila Bay were that of Hindu Old Malay amalgamation, similar to the cultures of Java, Peninsular Malaysia, and Sumatra at the time. In the years leading up to 1000, there were already several maritime societies existing in the islands, but there was no unifying political state encompassing the entire Philippine archipelago. Instead, the region was divided into numerous semi-autonomous city-states under the rule of the plutocracy, while a number of states existed alongside the highland societies. These smaller structures alternated between being part of or being influenced by larger Asian empires like Maya Pahit. Around 1225, the nation of Mai, a Buddhist pre-Hispanic Philippine island state centered in Mondoro, flourished, attracting traders and shipping from the kingdom of Ryukyu to the empire of Japan. Chao Jakua, a customs inspector in Fukian province, China, wrote the description of the barbarous peoples, describing trade with this pre-colonial state. Its people were noted for their honesty in trade. Much of what is now Indonesia was ruled by the Hindu Maya Pahit Empire. During the 1300s, this empire ruled over Luzon Island and the Sulu Archipelago. As more and more influence was on these islands, skirmishes and battles also hmm. existed. Some local That's tribes normal. were waging In incessant guerrilla warfare against them. Eventually, the kingdoms of Luzon regained independence from Maya Pahit after the Battle of Manila, 1365. Sulu also re-established independence, and in vengeance, assaulted the Mayapahit province of Brunei before a fleet from the capital drove them out. The start of the Islamic era in Indonesia set the collapse of the Mayapahits as its provinces eventually seceded and became independent sultanates. In 1380, Makdum Karim, an Arab trader born in Johor, arrived in Sulu from Malacca and brought Islam to the Philippines. Additionally, Sharif ul Hashim, an Arab Muslim explorer, established the Sultanate of Sulu by converting its previous ruler, the Hindu king Raja Baguinda, to Islam and then marrying hmm. his daughter. The Sultanate of Magindanao rose to prominence at the end of the 15th century. Meanwhile, the religion was introduced to the area by Muslim missionaries and traders from the Middle East, Indian, and Malay regions who propagated Islam to Sulu and Magindanao. As before, when Buddhist and Hindu cultures influenced the archipelago, the same case happened with the Muslim culture. Upon the secession of Brunei from the Maya Pahit Empire, they imported the Arab emir from Mecca, Sheriff Ali, and became an independent sultanate. The new religion started to grow roots in the Philippines through conquest and conversion of local leaders in the next decades. Moreover, Islam was further strengthened by the arrival to the Philippines of traders and proselytizers from Malaysia and Indonesia. Mm. The Europeans. In yeah, this is where the, the real Spanish thing started. The archipelago through the expedition around the world. I mean, these guys, these guys were incredible, man. I mean, Magellan. like I always say it, like I've, I've said it in so many videos already. I mean, I mean, these expeditions by the Europeans in large seas, going through in months. Have you guys looked at say, an ocean in the night before? Terrifying. Black. Everywhere looks so black. Imagine using a boat that is not even like this. The current boats, like the boats that they used in those days were dependent on the wind. I mean, it's just crazy. And some of them, they will enter places that they don't really know. Like they're going for the first time. I mean, those guys were brave, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sit down here and lie. Those Europeans were really, really brave. I mean, you may disagree with what they did eventually when they landed in those places, but you have to give them that. You have to really give them that. And I will keep saying that. I will always keep saying that. I mean, I, I don't know whether it offends, it offends anybody, but I'm, I'm someone that can sit down and think about things logically. And I understand that this is some incredible feats by the Europeans during that period. Expedition around the world led by Portuguese born Spanish explorer Ferdinand Magellan. 
claiming the islands he saw for the Spanish Empire. Hmm. He established friendly relations with some of the local hmm. leaders friendly. and converted some of them to Roman Catholicism. Hmm. Because the Philippines are a large archipelago, the Spaniards started to explore many islands. However, the explorer Ferdinand Magellan was killed during the Battle of Mactan against the hmm. local ruler Lapu Lapu. Over the next several decades, other Spanish expeditions were dispatched to the islands. In 1543, an expedition was led to the islands naming them Philippines, in honor of Philip of Austria, who became Philip II of Spain hmm. on January 16, wow. 1556. The name so was named after... to the entire archipelago later on in the Spanish era. European colonization began in earnest when Spanish explorer Miguel Lopez de Legazpi arrived from Mexico in 1565 and formed the first European settlements in Cebu. Through diplomatic and military annexation Damn. of some lands, incorporating local states including the Kingdom of Tondo, the Spaniards established Manila as the capital of the Spanish East Indies. In 1578, the Castilian War erupted between the Christian Spaniards and Muslim Bruneans over wow. control of the Philippine archipelago. The Christian troops were so diverse due to generally being made up of people under wow. the Spanish rule, including Native Americans, namely Aztecs, Mayans, and Incans, who were gathered and sent from Mexico and South America to be led by Spanish officers that had worked together with native Filipinos in military campaigns across Southeast Asia. The Muslim side was also very diverse, though. They were supported by the Ottoman Empire, with their troops consisting of Malay warriors and expeditionary forces sent by the Ottomans, which included mainly Turks, Egyptians, Swahilis, Somalis, Indians, and others. The conflict ended with a status quo antebellum. Just 20 years after the conquest of Luzon, remarkable progress existed in the work of colonization of the islands and the spread of Christianity. A cathedral was built in the city of Manila. I mean, it's quite funny. I mean, Christianity is supposed to be a peaceful religion, right? But uh, <laughs> they had to fight. <laughs> they had to fight to spread spread the gospel i mean it's really really funny some sometimes when i think of all this historical stuff it's really i don't know I, i'm a christian but man i mean the fact that you have to fight you have to go go to war for spreading of the gospel i mean i don't know don't know about that man <laughs> wow this is crazy of the islands and the spread of Christianity. A cathedral was built in the city of Manila with an Episcopal palace. Other monastery and churches were built across islands, and more and more people started to convert to Christianity. Furthermore, Spanish and Mexican families settled in the new lands, creating stronger communities. Much of the archipelago came under Spanish rule, creating the first unified political structure known as the Philippines. Spanish colonial rule saw the introduction of Christianity, the code of law, and the oldest modern university in Asia. The Philippines was ruled by the Mexico-based vice royalty of New Spain, and after, the colony was directly governed by Spain. Many of the local wow. people revolted in the next centuries due to some abuses made by the Spanish authorities. Their rule ended after the American-Spanish War at the end of the 19th century really? in 1898. The wow. Philippines became a territory of the United, United States. The United States then established the insular government to rule the Philippines. In 1907, the elected assembly was set up with popular elections. The U.S. promised independence in the Jones Act to the country, and the Philippine Commonwealth was established in 1935 as a 10-year interim step period to full independence. But before gaining total freedom, in 1942, during World War II, okay. the Philippines was occupied by Japanese forces. By 1945, the U.S. Wow. liberated the Philippines and the Treaty of Manila in 1946 established an independent Philippine Republic. The period Damn. of their independence was marked that is incredible. by internal I mean, skirmishes and a smaller, at that. marked by internal skirmishes and a smaller period of dictatorship. 
but also mm. huge progress and development, with Manuel Roxas becoming the first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines. The United States seceded its sovereignty over the Philippines on July 4, 1946, as scheduled. However, the Philippine economy remained highly dependent on United States markets. Roxas died suddenly of a heart attack in April 1948, and the Vice President Elpidio Quirino ruled the country until 1953. Some communist partisans existed in the islands, but were defeated in the 50s. Additionally, an important event happened in the middle of the 1960s. Ferdinand Marcos took power in 1965 and ruled until 1986. Wow. This era included the final years of the Third Republic from 1965 to 1972 and the Philippines under martial law 1972 to 1981. His reign was marked by dictatorship and instability. In 1986, hmm. Ferdinand Marcos was removed from power and replaced by Maria Corazon wow. Aquino. Up to the present day, five other presidents ruled the Philippines. Hmm. Wow, guys, that was interesting. That was interesting. I'm, I'm actually surprised that a woman got to rule Philippines for some time. I mean, surely it's not like it's modern day time. It was around that, like, you know, um, something, something, into something, which is which is nice, which is incredible. Um, uh, that was that was a whole history of a country put into a video of 12 minutes. I know, definitely, of course, I know that he must have skipped some things and someone's gonna tell me oh that this thing he, did, he didn't put he didn't put I, and i understand that but in just 12 minutes i have gotten a good idea of how the country came about which which is what the goal of the video is supposed to be okay guys i really enjoyed that video i hope you did enjoy as well please guys if you have watched to the end help me hit that like button it really helps me out and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button it's really really free please guys help me out with that thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one peace